Doctor, when it comes to food, so many of us look at something to uh, make sure we're just full and so we're not hungry anymore and usually it's quick on the run. That doesn't help when it comes to our overall health. We need to really look at food in a different way, don't we? Yes. We, you see, when you eat the wrong foods, you get unrelenting cravings to overeat calories. And when you eat the wrong foods, you get fatigue and shakiness and anxiety and stomach cramping and headaches when you're not constantly putting calories into your mouth. The wrong food leads to overeating behaviors. And the right food leads to you being connected with the amount of calories you, des you require. The amount of calories you desire becomes the right amount for you. So when you're eating a diet that's low in micronutrients, especially low in phytochemicals and antioxidants, your body's always going to be inflamed and you're going to, it's like if you were smoking cigarettes or you were snorting cocaine. Then when you stop snorting cocaine and stop smoking cigarettes, how do you feel? Do you feel better or worse? You stop smoking, you feel better, right? No, when you stop smoking, you feel worse. When you stop the cocaine, you feel worse because when you no longer imbibe in the toxic substance, your body tries to remove and re the toxins and repair. And the removal of toxins is painful and uncomfortable. It can be cause itchiness, it cause fatigue. People mistake the detoxification that occurs from eating poorly and the fatigue that, it, that um, results from that. They think that's hunger. They think stomach cramping, headaches, fatigue, and, and, and shakiness is hunger and they constantly eat again. They eat all day long. So what I'm saying is that, that their food choices induce overeating behaviors because they're not comfortable unless they continually eat and continually overeat. Once you flood the body with nutrients and you eat the right foods, you feel fine when you're not eating until you get hungry. And then hunger is the mouth and throat sensation. It's not stomach aching. It's not your headache. It's not fatigue. You know, fatigue is, means you're eating the wrong diet. So what I'm saying to you right now is that true hunger is a precise computer that leads you to the exact amount of calories you, you need to maintain your lean body mass. True hunger is not set up to put fat on a person's body. If a person's overweight, like almost like 90% of Americans are, then they've had to have eaten outside of the demands of true hunger due to emotional eating, recreational eating, or addictive eating. That's it. And they're never going to, they're not going to comfortably lose the weight and get healthy unless they change their food choices. Trying to cut back on calories willy-nilly is never, almost never going to work because the desire to overeat is still going to be there in an, in an unrelenting fashion.